Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what does your love interest secretly want to tell you? We're going to spy on them today and we're going to set the time period for March. I love you guys so much. And if you guys like this, please like, share and subscribe. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. So my beautiful darlings, we are going to be talking about what does this person secretly want to tell you? We're going to look at the actions that they're going to take and we're going to look at the outcome here. Okay. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What does my cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does my cancer's love secretly want to tell my cancers? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck one. What does Cancer's love interest, the one that you're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Cancer's love interest secretly want to tell Cancer? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, that's card deck two. What does my Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does my Cancer's love interest secretly want to tell my Cancers? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, that's card deck two. Let's put these aside for now. And let's lay down your cards. So the first card here, wow. Well, we got the Nine of Cups energy, obviously. Your person wants to tell you that you are everything that they want, okay? You're everything that they desire, and they can't stop looking at this, and they're in amazement, actually, about it, okay? Um, yeah, nines talk about desires there, Cancer, and you're everything that they want, okay? And then going further, wow. Cancer, your person wants to tell you that they love you, Ace of Cups energy, that you are actually their true love, okay? This Ace of Cups is showing me that, yeah, this is like um, the icing on the cake. That's what I feel like. The icing on the cake for them. It's like, wow, you're everything that they want, okay? You're everything that they need, and they also have this true love with you with the Ace of Cups energy. Okay, keep going here, Cancer, okay? Cancer, your person wants to tell you that they want your attention, yeah. And they have an awareness that, you know, you get a lot of people looking at you, you get a lot of eyes on you with the Six of Wands energy. And they have a sense that this connection gives them a sense of victory. <laughs> they like to show you off. That's what I also feel like here from this card with the Six of Wands card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, they also want to tell you that it's almost a sense of recognition for them and these desires when it comes to love as well. Like, I feel like also this person really is intuitively connected to you. Because I see that there's a large moon here, it looks like in the background. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna go further here. We see garden card energy. We see the conversation here. And we see a text message letter, a document. They wanna tell you that you're everything that they desire when it comes to other people. Okay, because the garden card for Lenorme is very literal. It can talk about, okay, there's options here, there's choices. Also, they may be aware, Cancer, that you have other options and other choices. And they are like, that's also why they're in such a disbelief here about the situation. They want to have a conversation with you. They want to have a talk, talk with you about true love here, Ace of Cups energy. They want to share their feelings here. And we see they also want some kind of text message, letter, document, or communication from you. So they may also want you to reach out to them here, uh, even just to go out here. They may want to spend some time with you as well with the garden card energy. They want to have a conversation. Let's spend some time together. Uh, I feel like there's like a picnic going on here. They may want to take you out somewhere here, possibly for a, in a park, possibly for some of you. Okay, so let's keep going. We have the hope card energy. We have the romantic feelings. Okay, reconfirming again. And we see that there is something to do with another person. Okay. So they are aware that you potentially um, are dealing with another person or they have concerns about this other person here with the ex-partner energy. 
And so if you mirror that card, they're hopeful they can have a positive outcome with you because they do have feelings for you. They may also be concerned that you still have feelings for this other person, okay? And we see the moon card energy. We see the princess of swords. And we see the eight of pentacles. So cancer, your person's concerned that they're deluding themselves, okay? that maybe they are seeing things as an illusion and that they're being naive about the situation with the Princess of Swords and that they're trying to see if there's any transformational changes in this confusion that they're having. They're trying to get new perspective about the situation. They are concerned because they really feel like they need to put the work into this. Like there's a lot of work or effort here with the Eight of Pentacles energy. We have the Star card energy. We have a person card and we have, yeah, I do feel like this person's really concerned about another person, okay? I mean, whether that's a true threat or not, this person, you know, is, that's what they, that's all in their mind. That's what they want to tell you, that they're trying to be hopeful, but they're confused and they don't want to be naive about possibly a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And uh, they're confused about the sense of work or effort that they, they really do want to clear the air here, okay? Get clarity here with this uh, clouds card energy being there. Okay, we got the spiritual card, the happiness card, and the single and available to pursue. So this person definitely feels like there's deeper connections between you and them, okay? Whether that's on a subconscious level or not, I know not all of your love connections are going to be that in tune, but... If they are, they're definitely feeling their intuition is telling them, okay, whether on a conscious or subconscious level that they're, they have a sense that there's something deeper here, okay, like a deeper past life connection there. And uh, you do make them happy. And uh, there is concern for them about, you know, you isolating yourself uh, or being single and available because this other person here, okay. So we can see this person's trying to be hopeful because they have feelings for you. Uh, but they know that there is another person that could be involved, but they're, they're trying to um, use their intuition or gain knowledge, and they are hoping that they can have a positive outcome and be happy here, okay? And I feel like either you guys aren't single and available to pursue because of another person, or they're, they want you to know they're going to be single and available to pursue here if it's them with the other person, okay? So, and they really want a happy outcome and, and they don't want you to lose hope for some of you if it's the other way around, okay? So let's now see what the action is here, Cancer. Okay, so we got the Three of Cups energy. So the action for me, Three of Cups talks about going out, having a good time, having a friendly time, a joyful time, okay? So a very joyful, happy celebration here, Three of Cups energy. It looks like, you know, there could be another person involved with this uh, action here because there's three people in this card. We see that the cross card is here. It's spiritual in nature, possibly. For some of you, it could be a retreat here. Um, there's some kind of socializing going on and possibly something spiritual. For others of you, it's because of part of the responsibilities here that's going to uh, make this situation where you guys are going to socialize with this person, okay? Book card energy. You're going to gain some knowledge about this situation or this is going to be done in secret, okay? Okay, Cancer, all right, something's going to be done in secret, all right, or again, this is a very spiritual oriented card because you can see, gain more knowledge and using your intuition to see the answers is like, almost like the High Priestess card energy, but the High Priestess card and the book card are very secretive card, okay, so the action is going to be secret in nature, okay, all right, for some of you, okay, or you're going to gain knowledge about these burdens and there's going to be a sense of celebration going out and having a good time. Three of Cups definitely shows going out having a good time, okay, as the action. Okay, so, which is going to give you knowledge or for them to get knowledge here. Okay, so let's now see what is the outcome here. We have the transformation card. We have the judgment card energy. I'm just going to move this up here, Cancer. Okay. We have the, wow, the Page of Cups. Okay, so it looks like it starts out with an ending here, okay, with the transformation card, or, or uh, there's gonna be a situation where someone's gonna end a situation if there's a, there's a third party situation going on. It looks like the ending will happen or 
the, there is going to be an ending of the connection, but then it's going to reconcile here with the judgment card energy, okay? Because you can see, it's going to rule in your favor. All of a sudden, this person is just going to show up out of nowhere. Hey, what's up? How you doing? And it's going to move into this potential love connection here with the Page of Cups. And it's going to be good news and a potential path in love. Okay, so and, so, and also, the Death card could also just be saying that there's going to be some big changes that's going to happen here that are going to rule in your favor towards this potential for love, okay? So going further, we see a house card energy, we see a mountain card energy, and then we see heart again. So there's something to do with this house, this family, something is going to end around this situation, this, and then uh, delays, you're going to overcome delays because things are going to rule in your favor because of why? Because of love, okay? So a house and delays will move into love. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm defensive about getting hurt, right? Nine of wands. I got my wall up because of this house and family situation, because of the stable situation, but that's going to end, stop, or change. And then we see, I'm stressing about these delays, but things are going to roll in your favor. You're going to reconcile with this person with the reconciliation card. And then we see again, reconfirming a reconciliation. Why? Because of love, because of a good news and love, because of a message that you receive in love. Okay, let's keep going. I just want to go down another layer here. Yep, romantic gestures are going to be taken because of a sacrifice. Um, and we see again, eight of, of uh, wands is saying there's going to be a lot of energy behind this, a lot of conversations, a lot of communications and movement in this situation because of the sacrifice that was made because of these romance, this romantic gestures and because of love with the Knight of Cups energy. All right, my beautiful Cancers. I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments, and I love hearing from you guys. Um, this sounds like a very, very interesting situation, and yes, I want to hear from you guys. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now, by the way. There is the monthlies, the mid-monthlies, the next two weeks, their true feelings, and the weeklies, and then... Uh, um, another date or two I'm going to be releasing. This is going to be a two-part reading. First part will be about new love, if you're interested in finding out about new love coming towards you, and X returns, if you're interested in that. So you guys want to, want to check that out. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in another date or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and you know I want to hear from you guys. I will see you guys soon.